All right. Yeah, gonna start drilling beans today, but uh, first got a little touch up work to do with the finisher. Um, I was back there where I took that tree line out for, you know, to a quarter after nine last night, picking up sticks and rocks. And made one heck of a pile, got three bucket loads off of it, but it's, uh, oh, she saw a rabbit. Go get it. I mean, you can't give up that quick. Goofball. Anyway, uh, it's still a little chunky and kind of rough because obviously the finisher was jumping over a bunch of sticks and rocks and crap. So I'm going to go back here and I want to make a couple, couple passes over it again. Kind of knock it or knock it down a little better. Good. Eh. Uh, I might have left the keys in this thing. Yep, I think I left the keys in it. They'll crank, they'll start. This is the first morning. Well, we haven't really had any heavy frost these last few days. We've, well, actually, probably better part of the last week. We've had some light frost, nothing super duper bad, but today we just had a heavy dew. Well, actually, it wasn't even all that heavy of a dew. But, uh, we're starting off a lot warmer today than we did yesterday. I think the daytime is supposed to end up about the same, but tomorrow we're supposed to be up in the 70s. And I think every day from here on out, at least last time I checked, is in the 70s. So it's get this thing off the locks. But I'm going to get ready to go here and we'll get back to you guys in a second because it's easier to do all this with two hands. Well, this could be teeter pup first right in the field. I think it's going to be a good time to try it out since I'm already running over smooth ground.
just the right size. It made it up in between the basket and the box tube. So the basket couldn't turn either way. Peter and I got that piece worked up again back here. It laid down a lot nicer this time. I think I ran over it like four times total. Um, doesn't look like I brought any more major shit back on top, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plant it. I'm sure I go back here and chisel plot again this fall. I'm gonna have to pick up more roots and crap, but you'll have that when you take a tree line out. But anyway, drill's all loaded up. We got our setting from earlier. I'm gonna throw them bags in the burn pile real quick and get rid of them so they're not blowing around. I think I did not grease this when I had it here. Shoot some grease in it real quick. It's only, the only grease that's on the whole thing are the ones on the line shaft. Everything else is dry. So, shoot some grease in it real quick and get after it. Well, I tell you what, uh, the weather people are keep changing their story. It's uh, not even nine, well, it might be nine o'clock by now. But uh, I already had to shed my coat. And if it gets any warmer, I'm gonna have to shed my sweatshirt. And they said it's supposed to get, or now they changed the story, it's supposed to get up to 70 today, which is great, we need the heat. And I'm ready to have to not wear sweatshirts all day anymore. And the county's been out mowing, mowing ditch banks already. And right over across the road here, they got into the neighbor's hay field a little bit and they dropped some alfalfa. And it started drying out. And it's right now it's got that real nice sweet morning dew fresh cut hay smell to it oh my god if that don't get you ready for summer nothing will because anybody that's ever been around every anybody that's ever been around a hay field knows exactly what i'm talking about the best time to be around the hay field is first thing in the morning right after it's been cut when the dew's on and it's got that really nice sweet it's the smell that can't even be described. The three greatest smells in the world. Fresh plowed ground, fresh cut hay, fresh chopped silage. All three of those need to be an air freshener. I need to make some hooks to hang those things. It'd make my life a little easier.
Okay, boys and girls, are we ready to drill some beans? I do enjoy drilling beans. It's more fun than corn because you don't gotta keep stopping to fill up, you just go. And you don't necessarily even have to worry about being straight. house right there just sold and I'm really glad them neighbors moved out and I hope the ones that are in there now are better than the ones we had because I mean they weren't bad people they pretty much kept to themselves they didn't make a bunch of noise they were pretty decent neighbors other than the fact that apparently they were too cheap to afford trash pickup so they burned everything which is fine I got nothing against that except for the fact that they would let it pile up in the backyard before they burn it and we would always have shit scattered across the field. I, there, now I, there's a piece of something there. There was a piece of something up by the end row I have to stop and get. Is that another piece of plastic? Just always shit scattered all over this dang field. But she'll get that.
this first piece done judging by where my hoppers are at I'm guessing I got her set just about right I should have used well I came out apparently I didn't add a whole lot with that fence rope because it came out at six and three or six and three quarters again on the acre counter so I should have used just a tick over six bags at my current population and I'm guessing I probably used about six bags out of there a little over I'll know when I go to top it back off and I found a couple prize rocks and found a little bit of trash although I'm probably going to keep this this is still in decent shape probably going to keep that for the 4th of July but the rest is garbage so head up to the house and top the drill back off should be good on fuel on the tractor I'll check it but I'm gonna head over yonder and get that four and 12 acre chunk that are right next to each other get that knocked out and then see where I'm at on that and I think what I'm gonna do rather than keep drilling is when I get done over there come back and grab the 19 in the field cultivator and switch back over to tillage and get them last two fields I got opened up so that they'll get dried out so I can run the mulcher over them tomorrow afternoon and get them planted Sunday or however it ends up working out but anyway get that topped off and on to the next one okay here we are at the big chunk between this and see what's on the other side of the fence row I'm all set up ready to rock and roll it's about 12.08 uh, I got about four hours over here because I can drill about four acres an hour roughly I'd have been over here a little sooner but I was at the house letting Teeter do her thing and had a little bit of lunch and I was uh starting to feel the vibrations from the uh, burrito that I had for the, the uh, taco truck burrito I had for lunch yesterday and I didn't want anything bad to happen while I was at the field so we just kind of took her easy until everything passed you know you'll have that on them taco truck burritos but damn it was worth it that thing was good so anyway um yeah you know the drill and ah, see what it did there So I got that field done. Took about 50 minutes. I stay let's just say I started at 12:10 and it's now one o'clock even. So uh, gonna top the drill off. Hopefully I should have enough in here to do this field, I hope. Because I really don't want to have to go all the way back to the house. That would kind of
That's the shitty part about doing this by yourself during the week when nobody's around to give you a lift. I'm thinking I should have tried to cram one more bag in there with me when I came over. It's going to be close. It's going to be real close. Here's hoping. I should have brought more. We got a little empty. Hopefully that last round doesn't have any skips in it. But I called my old buddy Chris and his keys are in his truck, so I don't gotta run the tractor all the way back to the house. So I'm gonna go grab some more seed real quick. Because unfortunately, I was this close. I probably only got maybe two acres left i got this triangle right here and then there's some short rows in the back i gotta do to close the gap and yeah missed it by that much all right i got one got five bags to throw in there so that should be plenty for the little bit i got left put gas in Chris's truck for him because I said I would. It was already full so it only took two gallons. He told me not to but I did it just because. Mostly just to be a jackass at that point since it was already full. So I could send him the picture saying I put gas in your truck with a little two, ga two gallon in it. And then about the time I got done filling the drill, he showed back up in his dad's truck, so I shot the shit with him for a minute. So basically I just lost an hour, but ah well, we're in no big hurry. Well, there's that job done. Only took about another 30 minutes. But all packed up and ready to go. Got plenty of time to go home and grab the 19 in the field cultivator and get back to work in dirt, but I think I'm gonna make that a separate video, so 
and for all the well i shouldn't say all there's only a couple people that told me when i did the head on this it didn't have the thermostat in it and i ended up putting a thermostat or putting a new thermostat in it because it needed to have a thermostat in it i had some people tell me don't do that they had it out for a reason it's going to run too hot well she went up to about the mid-range of the temp gauge and it stayed there all day no muss no fuss no overheating there's supposed to be a thermostat in there they're there for a reason kids not only does that it, it, engine temperature controls combustion it, it just yeah you're inviting premature engine wear if you're running it too cold you're getting piss poor combustion it just you need to have a damn thermostat in it if it's running hot don't pull the thermostat out figure out why it's running hot yeah but anyway and this drill works it pretty good too i uh you would probably struggle pretty good to pull a 10 footer with a stock 66 especially fully loaded um sorry about that had to do a goofy cut um yeah you would probably you would really struggle you might pull a lighter frame drill 10 foot with a stock 66 but these 64s are heavy to begin with and then you load that box all the way up it gets really heavy it'd be a lot happier behind like a 77 but that tractor ain't quite stock anymore and when i do the bottom end of the engine this winter and put the big big bore kit in it it's going to be even further from stock and as especially as far as 66s go i would not want to try to pull this drill with a narrow front either because like even that little bit of a hill right there you start climbing and the t rear tires start digging it'll pick the front end up and the spindles will start bobbling it won't it won't pick the tires up off the ground but it'll take the spindles and or it'll take the knees and pick the spindles up and your tires are up on the center rib and it'll just bobble so i don't know if you pull it with a narrow front if you lost that extra you know, you'd probably shed 300 pounds going to a narrow front but it gives her a good workout so that's what they need especially pulling it as fast as i do i pull it in fourth almost wide open which i think is damn near five mile an hour right around five mile an hour i'm scooting so but anyway i'm gonna go home get the 19 out get it fueled up get after some more field cultivating but like i said it's gonna be a different video so as far as this one goes that's it for this one we'll catch you guys on the next one